welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here i am j cool i post interesting videos such as daily news entertainment filming so you need to subscribe take those conversations forward mm -hmm. um, at this point mr president if you wait we can uh, maybe introduce the people who are in the room and then we can make their statements indeed um, i would like to begin from our colleagues uh, on our side
from 24 Chinese medical team and 26 Chinese military medical expert team will be dispatched immediately to provide on-site medical guidance, sensitize the local people to anti-cholera knowledge and offer other services wherever necessary as a national heroes citizen in accordance with the instructions of the Zambian authorities. Number three, a clinic is being built in the southern province with the funding of two million kvacha from the Chinese embassy. Number four, the Chinese government will donate personal protective equipment was 470,000 kacha. Another batch of medical equipment and supplies was 2 million kacha has arrived at the port of Beryl upon reception of the Zendian side. I am proud to say the Chinese business community has been actively fulfilling their social responsibilities especially in times of need, and contributing to local economic growth and job creation over the six decades of their presence in Zambia. This time, the Chinese businesses here are doing the same. Number five, the Association of Chinese Corporations in Zambia will donate water tanks with a capacity of up to 100 tanks per day and a transportation truck to supply clean drinking water to 20,000 local people every day. Starting from this weekend, as per instructions of the Zambian authorities, a number of excavator and dewatering pumps are ready for immediate use upon instructions of the Zambian authorities. The total amount of assistance will exceed 2.5 million kwacha. Number six, Chinese private businesses operating in Zambia will donate supplies worth close to 2.5 million kwacha, including 28,000 bottles of noble Senlang and other type of fluids, 35,000 bags of chlorine powder, 20 sets of water purifying equipment, masks and disinfectants, among others. Chinese Chamber of Commerce and the Zambian Chinese Association will assist the local authorities in allocating the supplies to communities in need as early as this weekend. Chinese assistance in cash and in kind will exceed 20 million plus in total. Number seven, Chinese company CCECC has reached agreement with the relevant Zambian authorities over the Kafur Black Water Supply mm. Project Phase 2 mm. and is permitted to supply clean and sick water to around 750,000 Zambian people in Lusaka in the medium term. Number 8. Chinese company Kaifu Pharmaceutical will work to produce normal sea line and other anti cholera supplies in Zambian starting from February with the necessary assistance from the relevant Zambian authorities. Number nine, in view of long-term eradication of cholera, the Chinese side encourages interested and well-established Chinese companies to explore the possibility of producing anti-cholera vaccines here in Zambia. I am certain that under the strong leadership of President Xi Jinping, the heroic Zambian people will defeat cholera 
and in this process, the Chinese people will be with you, as always. Thank you, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, and you should respond. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Uh, uh, let me start by uh, welcoming the Chinese ambassador to Zambia and the, your delegation to State House once again, and also my team uh, from State House. Um, and secondly, to wish uh, both teams and the people of Zambia, people of China, I know you have your own New Year, but to wish you a happy New Year. Um, so, and we wish you that in advance of your own calendar uh, to the people of China. And thirdly, it is to thank President Xi Jinping and the government and the people of China for the messages of condolences that you're sending to us uh, following the loss of lives occasioned by the cholera uh, pandemic, if I may say so. So thank you very much. If you may send the message back. Uh, to Beijing that uh, we uh, do appreciate these warm messages. We don't take them for granted, we don't take them lightly, we take them very seriously and uh, thank you once more. And uh, next is to really deeply, deeply on behalf of the people of Zambia express our appreciation to China yet again uh, uh, coming to the table uh, to support uh, the Zambian brothers and sisters uh, during this difficult time of, of uh, the Corella outbreak. And your nine areas of support uh, are well noted and um, uh, highly appreciated, uh, which are of a diverse nature. Um, government to government support, very well appreciated, but also the Chinese private sector that is operating in, in Zambia. Uh, your Excellency, your Ambassador, Please pass the message uh, to them, and I think we'll find a, a platform through our own networks to officially respond, uh, acknowledging and appreciating this support. But at this stage, please pass our appreciation to them. And let me return to the diversity of the support that you are rendering, which is immediate, as I listen to you. Um, to help us bring the pandemic, the outbreak, under control. Uh, let's call it that. Um, so we are very grateful for that. I also noticed that in the nine checklist items, we've included uh, medium term uh, remedial measures. Uh, that is well appreciated. And finally, the longer term uh, measure uh, or measures to really stamp out Corella um, in, in our country. Uh, this government is determined to do that and it welcomes the partnership with the People's Republic of China. Um, and, um, you know, so thank you so much, especially in particular uh, the comment and the support around the manufacture of accessories, materials towards uh, the, um, the, the corella mitigation, but also towards the eradication of corella and the vaccine itself, the anti corella vaccine, which is a message I've been singing for a long time. Um, so I'm happy that uh, we can partner with the People's Republic of China, the Chinese people, uh, to get uh, this long-term solution on the table. And uh, Professor Chilengi, Chilengi, these are issues we take seriously. Uh, these are issues that we do not sit here and listen to and walk away. And, and do nothing about. It. So that checklist for His Excellency, which is well organized, well structured, must now be adopted as part of the resolutions of this meeting, and more importantly, action the upon. So we must action it. You know how much I've been bothering you and bugging you around over the vaccine. Here's an opportunity. So I know the, the, the ambassador said they, they will encourage the firms, but we want to define this item form of encouragement that the Chinese potential investors uh, need in order for them to make a positive decision uh, to invest in here. And uh, Your Excellency, as I've said to you before, and uh, to President Xi Jinping when we met and his government, 
that we want to encourage joint ventures so that we have a vested interest, the Chinese firm and Zambian counterparts working together um, and, uh, and investing together and making sure that each party brings value to the table so that we can actually encourage this investment, plus the facilitation from us, those things that are required from our end to make this thing possible. So once more, on behalf of the people of Zambia, Your Excellency and your team, uh, please pass this message to Beijing, to President Xi Jinping. We are very, very grateful. Sashi. from the, the, His Excellency and the team, and from this side, I think the media is uh, listening to us. And I'm not sure it's the time to engage in a conversation with the media, but uh, ourselves to understand each other better, and how we move the support uh, and deliver it to the people, the intended beneficiaries. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Mm. Um, I think that uh, the teams in the delegation from China to add any other points. Um, if, if not, we may wish to make a few further uh, discussion points on how we see the, the process forward and the next, the, the key next steps to the offer that has been uh, provided uh, and proposed by the uh, team from China. Um, as, as, as His Excellency has said, uh, some of the immediate measures that we need to um, uh, take on in terms of the offers that have been made. I think from this meeting we can link up with the uh, key persons so that we um, appro appropriate uh, how that help will be channeled. As a country we set up a multi-sector mm -hmm. team uh, which is coordinated by the Disaster Management and Mitigation Unit and uh, which the various nine ministries concerned are uh, operating and we are coordinated on a daily basis. So we are able to provide some of that connection uh, immediately after this meeting, uh, particularly with regards to things like the, uh, uh, the, the water tanks that will be required and where they need to be taken, uh, issues to do with the, uh, the water bowsers and how they can help support other efforts that are already in place. And then some of the other longer term things, again, I think we need to agree almost on a contact person uh, basis with whom to follow up specific activities. As uh, you will be aware, the excellence the, 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 the president in Zambia is very keen that we move the agenda of manufacturing aggressively. And, 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 and so we we'll following up on those activities very actively. Mm -hmm. Colleagues, if you have any more. Yes, uh, thank you again, Mr. President. Just to Andrea and Mr. Ambassador, just to let you know that uh, we have been working on the CCEC uh, to facilitate for their um, coffee and pump water supply. Just to have something very, very important. Uh, I think at the moment we are moving in the right direction. To me, this would be the issue that we would say if we can provide uh, what is the 700,000 um, people. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe just to add uh, to say, uh, <coughs> Ambassador and the team, that uh, that initiative of um, expanding or phase two of the Kapiwa Bark water is so critical because part of the challenges we have is people digging shallow wells um, to access water next to pitla trees. So essentially, when that project comes on stream, it will allow us to, as the president here has directed, to shut down all shallow wells. Then there's need for an alternative source of water uh, for the people to, to, to drink, to, to do their normal uh, life requirements. So, Lawrence, we need to accelerate that project. 
and uh, for you uh, in this meeting to single out that as your key deliverable. So to see the processes, any things that are standing in the way to close the agreements uh, around that project. It's extremely important um, because it's good for the shallows to be shut down. But where do the people get the water? So this is, this is practical. This is real. And also, beyond the shallow wells, there are many people who are uh, on self, if you like, facilitated water supply, but really want to be on a water network because there are issues beyond just cholera. There are the issues of degrading the groundwater. There are issues of, uh, if you like, uh, the quality of water. Because Osaka sits on a limestone. So in as much as we are putting boreholes down, some of those boreholes are being dug in the limestone. And the quality of water that comes in, uh, in the limestone, uh, even though it's uh, from the boreholes, is not that very good. So I am actually envisaging that this is an opportunity now for us to accelerate the investment in the water supply, uh, reticulated water supply, make it commercially sensible for the investment uh, so that uh, it's rewarding even if we were to do a PPP. Then the bulk water is being, if you like, taken by a market and they are able to pay because there's no more shallow wells and uh, even those that are on self-supplied um, water can get to a network and pay a slight premium in order to cross subsidize those that are in the low density areas. So I see this as a great commercial opportunity for the water um, uh, project in Kafu and, uh, and then to restructure the water um, supply market and cons consumer market so that we bring tariffs that are reasonable and because the government would impose stringent measures now as to where people source water, then it enhances the commercial viability of the project. So I want us to go in that direction and long, um, so that we can support our colleagues, the initiatives, that, because sometimes we are slow on our side. We shouldn't be dragging feet on such issues. The President's direction is very clear. We must move quickly and uh, probably even re-scope the phase two, if we can make it even bigger, and, it, and, and, and the motivation is that it's commercially viable. It should be commercially viable now to do that. Uh, I think it would be very good. I'm also looking at um, us Lungu, going further down at the distribution level. We probably need to look at uh, more than Osaka water. I'm, I'm being serious about this, uh, to distribute, to deliver water efficiently and uh, structure the payments for water in a more efficient way, with technology again, you know, prepaid meters, for example, mm -hmm. uh, which are functioning, leak detection. We lose a lot of water, Your Excellency, which is processed, and it just goes in the ground, which is expensive water because of leakages, the integrity of the lines. This is a time to now invest in not just processing abstraction of water, but in the uh, transportation of water, bulk transportation, then when it's in Lusaka, in the distribution of that water. The technology should be able to allow us where the leakages are taking place. Uh, I think we, if, we are, if we work through it. So I would like to see the project growing to that sort of level, that we are holistic about it, but more important to make it commercially attractive because there will be no option now. No shallow wells, no, if I move on away from water supply to sanitation overall, in terms of uh, liquid waste, in terms of solid waste, we must combine all this. Prof, um, you know, um, um, recycling of waste, uh, we are looking at the plastic issue, Your Excellency. We cannot continue allowing the plastics to clog, uh, to clog our, our water systems. So this is a big project and the President's direction will not be ignored, that this is now a turning point. And look at the people we've lost. Look at the emergency funding, including what you're supporting. If we had planned in the last 20 years as a country and invested in, 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 in infrastructure, in, in drainage, in solid waste management, in recycling, we wouldn't be spending this money today. 
and, and I think these are the lessons we can learn from our colleagues from China, how they moved out of these situations and unsanitary conditions. And they have a larger population to deal with. I mean, how is it that we're failing to deal with the 20 million people, and most of whom are not in urban areas? So we've also said, Your Excellency, the President has directed that no new settlements will be allowed to open without minimum standards, without proper roads, without uh, drainages, without uh, water supply, as it were. And we are going to upgrade some compounds now. It's the opportunity to do as part of the solution. It's not just the vaccine. If people still are living in conditions that uh, attract uh, you know, the debt around, then we're not solving the problem. So it's a holistic project. But for this meeting, I think we can isolate the contacts that you have, the work that you have, and then look at immediate three categories, immediate support, immediate requirements, mid, medium term and longer term. Uh, because I see a place like, uh, I don't want to mention names of companies, where we can replant them, reason. Some houses will have to be taken out and then people relocated and in those spaces we provide proper drainage, proper roads and all of that stuff. So this is a big thing now. I think it can also contribute to our economic growth by investing in the infrastructure around water, driven by cholera, but working backwards to water, to housing, to solid waste, to, you know, uh, to all of that stuff. Uh, thank you. I thought I'd share that, Your Excellency, so you can see the broader vision and then the work that, uh, um, opportunities that will come out of uh, this work and in our partnership our enhanced partnership, you know, cooperation and uh, partnership agreement, we can begin to extract some opportunities for different types of firms and, uh, and, uh, and units. Thank you. I thought we needed to drive that point in that direction. Mm. Thank you. Maybe His Excellency may want to respond a little bit. Thank you, Mr. President. Yeah. Very yeah. Agriculture included in there. <laughs> and my shop 28, um, we're, we're very happy with what's happening. Yes. Yeah. Very good. I think we're great. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm running a campaign of hitting 10,000 subscribers within 10 solid days. And I am on number day two as of today. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, I ask and request that you subscribe to my channel to make that 10,000 campaign possible because I just can't do this without you. Thank you for showing up on my video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you comment on my video. Make sure you share my video and make sure you like my video because i'm gonna see you in the next video